If you want to play a costume superhero, then you need to look the part, and that means intense workouts coupled with an insane diet. Let's take a look at how Zachary Levi went from super geek to superhero and got ripped for Shazam. Shazam! When Zachary Levi agreed to take on Shazam as his next big role, he essentially agreed to make the gym his second home. After all, this is a character who has stood his ground in a number of scraps with Superman over the years. If this confrontation is ever going to play out on the big screen, then Levi has to at least keep pace with Henry Cavill. Assuming Cavill is still playing the Man of Steel by the time a crossover is viable, the movie's official synopsis even describes Shazam as having a ripped, godlike body. So there's little wonder Levi began hitting the weights almost every day. During a chat with former Smallville Lex Luthor actor Michael Rosenbaum, Levi said he's working out five or six days a week. He elaborated, Sometimes we'll do two a days and then we'll get more off days, but typically we'll just go, you know, hour and 15 minute sessions every day. That's a lot of time in the gym no matter who you are, and all that time pumping iron definitely shows. When someone who doesn't work out regularly starts hitting the gym hard, they usually experience what's known as newbie gains. Yes, you too can have a body like mine, if you're not careful. This was evidently the case for Levi, who managed to pack on an impressive amount of pounds within his first six weeks of training. He told Rosenbaum in February 2018, Before I got the role, I was about 200 pounds. I, I hovered around 200 pounds most of my adult life. Levi gave a similar account of his early gains when Variety caught up with him almost a year down the line. Speaking to The Hollywood Trade at the New York City premiere of The Marvelous Mrs. Maisel Season 2, the actor revealed that he'd started seeing results right away. I immediately put on about 24 pounds, and then we carved that down in about half. So I've been hovering around 215 pounds, and I'm in the best shape of my life and stronger and happier and healthier than I've ever been. What's going on? Oh, well, I, I got into really good shape. Am I hitting the light right? What did, what's happening? Why? Why? It probably won't surprise you to learn that Levi had to consume a heroic amount of calories to achieve a Shazam-worthy physique. When Variety quizzed him about his weight gain at the Marvelous Mrs. Maisel season 2 premiere, the actor revealed that he'd been taking on between 3,000 and 4,000 calories a day ever since he won the lead role in the DC movie. Let me just walk down this peanut brittle real quick. Why would you do that? Oh, right, because calories. Levi went on to give a more detailed breakdown of his Shazam calorie count during his appearance on Michael Rosenbaum's podcast. 3,700 calories with, 3, with then like a bunch of other supplements like fish oil, omega-3s. It's an impressive amount of calories for sure, but how does it match up against Levi's DC counterparts? The short answer is that, well, it doesn't. Both Ben Affleck and Henry Cavill reportedly consumed up to 5,000 calories per day when training to play Batman and Superman. Levi described his diet as pretty lean and clean, and he really wasn't kidding. To achieve his body goals, the actor had to give up some of his favorite snacks and make every single mouthful count, which is why most of his meals consist of protein-rich chicken and large portions of broccoli, a favorite of bodybuilders everywhere. Levi was even eating broccoli for breakfast at one stage, documenting the experience on Instagram stories. One bemused follower took to Twitter to ask the actor why he would do such a thing, and Levi revealed that he has a variation on chicken and broccoli five times a day. I basically eat the same macros all day long, meat and veg of varying combinations. I used to eat a lot of eggs in the morning, but I think I have an intolerance to them. Hopefully that means he didn't have to down any raw egg shakes, Rocky style. Levi's physical transformation has clearly been a source of inspiration to his fans, with some even reaching out to ask the actor for hints and tips on getting jacked. He told one of his followers, It's a marathon, not a sprint. I've been in the gym five days a week for the last five months, and I've eaten pretty darn healthy strictly, but not so crazy that I'm not still enjoying life. The system works. When another fan asked how her skinny husband could look more like Levi, the actor revealed that he himself used to struggle with adding muscle to his slender frame, and it was all down to diet. According to Levi, you can work out constantly, but if you aren't providing your body with all the right tools, then you're going to struggle to improve on those newbie gains. The former Chuck star replied, the key, I found, was quite literally consuming mass quantities. You have to feed your muscles. You have to give your body the building material necessary to grow larger. You have to eat, even when you're not hungry. 14,000 calories later, I found myself down at Subway, powering through a 12-inch veggie on whole wheat. Levi might advocate eating as much as humanly possible, but that doesn't mean eating whatever you can get your hands on. 
When he was asked how he manages to eat well while still enjoying his life, he gave a pretty straightforward answer, avoid processed foods. From my perspective, the biggest favor you can do for yourself is avoiding all processed foods. Sweet or savory, doesn't matter. It's all breaking down in your body as sugar that is then stored as fat. But there's a lot of tasty, clean food out there. Get into it. Why are you eating stem first? This is a new food for me. How else do I eat it? The other way. Junk food is far from the only obstacle when you're trying to balance gym life with the social life, however. Alcohol certainly doesn't help matters when you're trying to remain as trim as possible. I'd like to purchase some of your finest beer, please. Levi discovered the benefits of cutting out the booze when he took part in Sober October 2018. Starr admitted, It was a little difficult at first, and it's still kind of strange not having a drink when I go out at night. But overall, I feel so much healthier and happier and clearer of mind and heart. It's been a good cleanse. May even take it longer. We'll see. Finding the time to prepare five clean meals a day can be a big challenge for anybody, let alone a busy actor. But that's where having a major Hollywood studio as your boss comes in handy. Levi praised Warner Brothers for helping him reach his targets when he spoke to Michael Rosenbaum, revealing that the studio had arranged for his meals to be brought right to his door. He said, I do meal delivery. It's part of the job, and, I, and, they've, been, and they've been very awesome about taking care of me. That's all well and good, but what does Levi do when he's not home? As an actor, he has to travel a lot, but even then, he sticks to his regimented diet plan. He tweeted, I use different meal delivery companies in different cities because I need to eat a lot throughout the day, and I don't know how to cook, like, at all. Imagine putting yourself through months of training and hundreds of portions of broccoli only for one of the biggest names in fitness to call you a fraud. That's the situation Levi found himself in during March 2018, when Men's Health suggested that the actor was wearing a padded suit on set. Some behind-the-scenes photos of Levi in full costume were leaked online, and regular contributor Vidi Mancuso took one look at the size of Levi's biceps and called foul play. In response to the Men's Health investigation, Levi posted a picture of his bicep on Twitter along with the caption, So much padding. It was the actor's way of getting back at the fitness mag, but the author of the original article wasn't convinced. In fact, Vinny Mancuso said the photo Levi posted was actually evidence that he was correct about the suit padding all along. In a follow-up article, he said, Yes, that is a large arm. That is a gym-earned, above-average-sized appendage. But try to tell yourself honestly that the arm in that photo is the same arm in the leaked photo. You can't. You just can't do it. Levi has had a hard time shaking the fake muscle rumor since his spat with men's health. Some people seem to think he looked padded out in a trailer that dropped in January 2019, with one fan questioning just how he looked so huge. The actor gave a purposefully non-committal answer, but that's likely because he's sick of addressing the story by now. When Variety asked him about it on the red carpet just a few weeks earlier, Levi again denied that he needed extra mass. Especially in this area. Does that look like fake? Does that look fake to you? Come on. According to a study by the Society of Behavioral Medicine, having a workout partner can greatly improve your performance in the gym, doubling cardio results in some instances. While many superhero actors are set up with world-renowned trainers, the guy spotting Levi is actually a photographer by trade. Eric Blackman has posted multiple pics and videos of Levi pumping iron, unofficially documenting the actor's progress. In October 2017, Blackman tweeted, Apparently, I'll be getting ripped for Shazam as well, since Zachary Levi is kicking my ass in the gym. I need protein. Now, despite the bleak winter weather, the pair remained dedicated to the Shazam cause as 2018 rolled around. By February, Levi was already looking far more heroic in their sessions, and by May, both men were looking fighting fit. Levi replied to the second Men's Health article with another photo of his guns, and this one was harder to argue against. The actor posted a topless pic of himself in the gym, along with a hilarious equation. It's like the old saying goes, hard work, overtime, plus chicken and broccoli, minus carbs, divided by whey protein, in which X represents the amount of supplements, and Y represents the sentiment of why the hell am I doing this to myself, multiplied by shameless selfies whilst staring into nowhere. Talk about taking your workouts to the next level. Why is this so hard to understand? This is not... <laughs> string theory! 
When he spoke to Variety in December 2018, Levi was eager to discuss how being selected to play the lead role in Shazam changed his life in more ways than one. His name is now known across the board in Hollywood, and he likely picked up a pretty paycheck for his work on the Shazam movie, but he was also extremely grateful for the chance to get healthy. Honestly, that's the stuff that I'm most ecstatic about. Just the level of health that I've gotten to. Mental health, emotional health, spiritual health, physical health. I am so jazzed about that and I want to keep talking about that, particularly mental health. It would have been easy for Levi to give up after Men's Health suggested that he just wasn't big enough to play a superhero, but he wasn't working out for anyone but himself. He added, I just feel like we're in a place, particularly nowadays, where people need to be encouraged and informed on what self-love is, and to go and genuinely embrace themselves and love themselves. So I'm really happy about all of that. Sorry. I just had to reboot. Check out one of our newest videos right here. Plus, even more Looper videos about your favorite superheroes are coming soon. Subscribe to our YouTube channel and hit the bell so you don't miss a single one.